Hola, Gemini Sun, Taurus Moons. Please excuse my landscapers that are outside. I'm hoping they're going to be done in a few minutes. I'm going to try to talk through it regardless. Um, their timing is always impeccable, aren't they? So this is your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. Does not matter the time of year. I'm doing these in the order of requests of the comments, so be sure to post up your requests. Um, while you're waiting for your requests to get done, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are in my playlist. Um, <clears throat> first portion of this reading, we will go over the trace of your sun moon combination, then I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this reading will be the link below to the Vimeo reading, where I'll, we'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards, of your cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing this year up into four separate sectors. I almost feel like I'm going to have to scream over them. Oh, I mean, I was getting ready to sit down and do cards, and then they, like, decide to, like... I'm like, Jesus, really? <laughs> Trying to get these out. Okay, um. Oh my god. Oh, they're doing leaves. Jeez, that's gonna take forever. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Because <laughs> I gotta do these. Okay, so Gemini, Sun, Taurus, Moons, you all have a problem kind of getting, um, you have a really youthful mindset. So you're always young. Even, you know, the way you act, your mannerisms, even the way you look, okay? Um, so you actually have a duality in this combination. So the one side, you're really adventurous and have this explorative spirit, quick moving, and then you have your tourist side that has this, you know, comfort and security and slow moving um, kind of energy, solid energy, okay? You might find that you'll, you'll get into something and then once you've like established it or you have security, you're ready to move on to the next thing, okay? Because, um, and this could be in regards to anything, like career, a relationship, a home, whatever. Um, being completely satisfied is something that's usually out of your grasp because of this. Um, you know, you never, you always have this, like an inability to totally settle down. You crave settling down, but you know, you don't always find it. You always feel like you need to be on the move. Okay, you you are pretty centered emotionally, actually, and you try to keep it this way, even though a lot of your ideas and your actions are kind of out there. Um, you do bounce back from a lot of challenging situations that you seem to fall into or get into, but right and and right after you do you after you do that after you bounce back, you're totally ready like for a new set of challenges and you take it on. Okay, always about innovation, even though. Taurus is very much about tradition and conforming and what have you. Not you guys, you're always about innovation and always about change. Um, one of the things is you don't usually learn from your past mistakes, so that's something that you definitely want to work on. Um, youthful patterns or immature patterns that you have are hard to let go of. You work very hard to set something in place and then you're like, and then you leave it to go like find something else or once you've accomplished it you're gone but we kind of already talked about it but there's an impulsivity that kind of goes along with that there is a pragmatic pragmatic approach to your life um, you can be slow and steady at times you're very skillful you're very intelligent and they must be clearing up those leaves some things that you might be predisposition to do would be architecture music writing um, are very good at form, aesthetic things, structural things. Um, so, so that's something that you have a natural understanding and you might want to incorporate into your life. Again, you do have this huge desire for adventure. You like to tackle challenges. Um, but one thing you need to do is be proud of your own achievements. Um, even though, even though achieving things seems to come very easily for you, it's always good to give yourself that pat on the back. Personality is one of your strong points in addition to your great sense of humor. Um, you're always very joyful. You have a very joyful spirit. You you have a knack. If anybody's kind of cold or shrewd kind of around you, you, you can kind of get to their, their inner being, get a smile out of them. And sometimes that's a challenge. You like to kind of play that game. Well, here's this cold person. Let me see if I can kind of like, you know, melt them down. Um, what else? Oh, dignity and pride is a trait that you have. And this is something that actually makes you stand out from other people and people respect you for this. Um, you ha you're very composed and you're very analytical. Okay, so that is you guys. Let's see if we can get through the reading. Oh my God, leave guys, go away. Um, Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe. 
<laughs> if it's annoying me, it must be annoying you. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Gemini, Sun, Taurus, Moons for the year 2020? What do you see? What do you need to know? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. I have to do these readings when I feel them. Otherwise, they don't get done. I do them when I'm tired or I'm overwhelmed or I'm stressed. Then it'll work out very well. So I was feeling it. So I was like, oh, well, screw the leaf, guys. Let's make it happen. It seems like they're fading. Watch them come back. Okay. Again, Gemini Sun, Taurus Moons for the period of, I mean, for the year 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, March for Taurus Sun? I'm sorry, Gemini Sun, Taurus Moons. We have Eight of Pentacles in reversed. If this reading resonates, consider personal reading. Well, what just happened there? I don't know what just happened. Personal reading. Just send me an email. My email's below. My rates of info are below. Um, those might be changing, but my info is down below. Just check it out. Hanged Man is in reverse for April, May, June. Ooh, got some stuff pushing out. Ten of Wands in reverse. And then ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out on Instagram. Six of Wands in the upright. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate in the link below. Let's see what's going on for 2020. Okay, you all are starting off January, February, March, kind of working your asses off, but feeling like you're not getting anywhere. Um, usually this can be a result of just sort of having things wanting to be a certain way, a certain outcome. Um, you know, being very, um, having tunnel vision, very limited in your view, and like, this has to be this way. That could be coming from your Taurus. Um, Tauruses can be very obstinate, and very rigid in regards to outcomes or expectations, but no matter how hard you work, you don't seem to get to be advancing. You don't seem to be getting anywhere. You're not experiencing the success or the goals that you were hoping to have during this period of time. And as a result, your motivation, your ambition is starting to suffer. Um, I often say maybe it's a case of working smarter, not harder, and figuring out to hit it from a different angle. Um, sometimes the ego and being so obstinate can make us kind of stick with something even though it's not working. Um, so... I believe this carries on into April, May, June because we have the hanged man in reverse. So this is holding on to, again, holding on to an expectation or things turning out a certain way. And it's almost in a selfish kind of way. And continuing to sacrifice but not seeing anything happening as a result. And this is... This is the time where you have to say to yourself, okay, I can't keep on doing this like this forever. I'm going to need to set up... Um, you know, I'm going to need to figure out what I'm going to do. I, I, I can't continue to kind of like stagnate like this or hang out in this. And you really need to kind of enlighten yourself on how long are you going to stay in this situation for and how long are you going to continue to do things the way that you're doing them. I feel that, that like that changes in July, August, September with the Ten of Wands. So this is you kind of letting go, deciding, you know what, I need to just let go of everything, free myself, not take on things that aren't mine, not take not, not take on things in my head that are taking up headspace that don't need to be there. Um, some of you might be taking a break, um, lightening your load, so to speak. And, and I think you're realizing maybe this is where the work smarter, not harder kind of mentality is starting to um, come to fruition in the period of July, August, September. And I see it's working for you because in October, November, December, you advance ahead victoriously. You um, do what you set out to do. Not only do you accomplish things, the things that you wanted to accomplish, you're doing them in a wonderful way. Usually the six of wands is people praising you and recognizing you for or admiring you for doing something so well or being noticed for like publicly being noticed for how you do something. I also see some of you advancing on um, maybe in the previous year you were hoping for a promotion or an advancement into a position. Here I see you getting that position as a boss or a manager or superior. So that position that you were kind of hoping for or that um, status or standing in the community or what have you um, based on uh, turning things around. So I think that's really great. So if this resonates, consider a personal reading um, and or click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling these clarifiers and we'll be going a little bit deeper. Check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings in my playlist. Check out, um, ask me a question on Instinco. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Insta, like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, best of luck to you in 2020. Bye.